Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Ritz and today I'm joined here with Ritz. So today we are in Paris. We're on day two of Paris and it is currently lunchtime. We slept in a bit. We ate a bit of breakfast at the hotel in our room and we just tried to get a lot of rest because yesterday was a nice long tiring day. Yep. We are very tired. We didn't know what to expect in Paris but we now... We slept at 2 as well. Yeah. In the UK it was 1am but in here it was 2am which is quite different. So everything is like one hour difference. So we got some energy. We have a bit more experience with Paris. So today we're ready to have fun. We're gonna go to some museums, see the phone with the tripod. We're filming over there, ready to go out today. So let's go. So it's now lunch time. We're gonna try out this Turkish restaurant here. It's called Grill Istanbul. Let's go. Okay, so I decided to go for a kebab, chicken kebab, there's some rice, bulgur rice, some salad chips, resgo adana kebab with rice, some chips, salad, and it came with some bread. Are you hungry? Are you excited? Yeah, we are so hungry. We did not eat breakfast properly. So this is like our first proper meal of the day. So I finished whatever I could. I ate the rice and the donut. The salad I did not enjoy. For some reason it just tasted weird. And these chips were not fresh. Bread is the same. She's struggling with the chips and a bit of the salad. The chips are horrible. Yeah. What would you rate this meal? Five out of ten. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'd give it like a six. Six no. out of ten. You can tell nothing here was like really freshly cooked. Yeah. The Especially donut and the rice was okay. The chips were like, they're not cold, but they're not fresh. They're just like in between. My donut's a bit rubbery too. Bread's Adana kebab was a bit rubbery. My donut was was nice. It was actually juicy. The chips are just not that great. Otherwise, I'd normally finish them all up. We are going to the Musée du Louvre. That one right there. So we just took the train. Macau is strapped to rest, so no pram. We had to carry the pram up these whole steps, like this amount of steps, but like four times the amount yesterday. Isn't it, Rez? Yeah, my arms and back. Yeah, me and Rez carried it together, but it was still a killer. But right now, we're gonna exit. So use this system to tap out. So on the way out, you don't actually have to tap. You just walk out. This way, this way. The sign says this way. Musée de Louvre, which is a famous museum in Paris. I was willing to hold Mikhail, but he wants to go to Rez and he's crying. So unfortunately, he's gonna instruct her. Oh wow, what's this about? And we would have to go up these stairs with a pram as well. If we took a pram, didn't see any lift. The metro, the Rez and Mikhail. This looks so nice. So the museum is there right now. Even though the map was telling me to go that way. You know that massive triangle building? I can't remember you call it, the Louvre? The Louvre? This is the Louvre. Oh, this is the museum, the Louvre. Someone's cooking right now. I think that's crap. Should we go in? Yeah. Let's cross the road. So nice. That is actually so tall compared to what it looks like on camera. Massive. We're not in the museum yet, but we're kind of inside. This is the men's toilet, yeah? And this is the women's toilet. Look at the queue for the women's toilet. Why do women love going to the toilet, Rez? <laughs> just to fix their makeup and that. Yeah, just carry a mirror around. No, it's not the same. I actually don't know where we're going. We're just following everyone. We're inside. Yeah, we want to go inside, but which direction is it? This looks like Why a... I don't know where they're going. We need to buy tickets, so... Oh, there's a sign that says tickets. So Mian Rez came here. This is a famous place to have some hot chocolate. <laughs> but the queue is huge. I think there's over like an hour wait. There's like literally like the line goes so far back that there's no point even like waiting. There's a little fun fair thing here going on. What time do you think it closes? I don't know, probably not until two. Should we go in? I wonder where the entrance is. Wow, look at that. 
Reminds me of uh, Axis in South End. <laughs> so yesterday near the Eiffel Tower. Wait, oh, should we go in? Should we buy some souvenirs first or should we come out and buy these? Up to you. Yesterday near the Eiffel Tower we bought some bronze looking ones, they were not nice. There was another nice shop. Bit this looks color. nice, like colourful. Yeah, they had that but like everywhere in the shop, like everywhere. Yeah. Should we go in there? Oh, there's zebra crossing, let's go. Let's go into this fun looking thing. I bet we're gonna go in and they're gonna be like, we're closing now. We're going to the Ferris wheel. <laughs> Alright, so we're in. I don't think you have to buy a ticket, but I think you just pay per ride because there's nothing on the entrance. If he sees this, Mikhail sees this, he's gonna go crazy. Right now, he's just laying down a bit. I don't know how we ended up here. Unplanned. <laughs> that looks fun, but I'm not that. What do you wanna do? It is so busy here. I'm gonna lose reds. <laughs> Should we go in the bumper cars though? Bumper cars fly up. Yeah, so we can bump each other. I wanna go there. Okay, I think they are doing some fresh crepes here, so we're gonna try it. I don't know how much the price is, but we're gonna try it. Are you excited? Yeah. Where do we go then? Like hundred pounds. So we got this crepe, it was 6 euros, which is about 5 pounds in British terms. It's a Nutella crepe. Chocolate. I know, there was not much chocolate, but it's a good amount of chocolate. It's very good. It was freshly made. They got other bakery stuff. We've been in Paris for like one and a half days, but we still haven't even tried a croissant. Croissant? You enjoying that? <laughs> yeah, it's nice. I don't think I've ever had a fresh crepe. I mean, I've had it from dessert shop, but I don't know if it's the same thing. After this, we're gonna find Mikhail a ride. You wanna go on a ride? Okay, we're gonna go on a ride, okay? So Mikhail went on one of the rides and he started crying because an adult wasn't allowed on. Alright, finish, come on. But Rez and him are allowed on this one. Yesterday, Mikhail got on this and he did not want to get off. So I bought three tickets. There's three right here and it's 10 euros. I don't know why we're doing this, but I know he's not going to want to get off. So he's going to need to go on it three times with Rez. They got a live show going on. Should we try some macarons? Macaroons? How do you say it? Macaroons. Yeah. Macaroons. Rez's nose has gone red. <laughs> but this is very famous in this country. But let's try it. Oh, there's a lot of flavors. How do you pick five of these? There's so many different flavors. Oh, there's a Nutella one as well. I want a pistachio. Pistachio one. I don't think I have it. Look for a green one. One vanilla. Keep looking. One hazelnut one. Hazelnut. Maybe one salted caramel. Okay, salted caramel. There's a lot more on this side. Do you want a black currant one? Ew, no. <laughs> Maybe we should get one rose one. Okay, one rose one. Let's get one Nutella. Is that five already? Yeah. Okay. That is the ride we saw from outside. Oh, Rez wants to go on this one. But I don't want to go alone. You can go alone if you want. I'll look after Mikhail. Oh. <laughs> Today you decided to go pramless. Mikhail stuck to me. Let's send him to the sky instead. You can go with him. Oh, oh. Can we go on that? You have to keep this. Yeah, I hold it. Try your chocolate one. Yeah. Alright, now tell us the other one. Wow. That is so flavorful and nice. Oh, that's nice. Mmm. Oh, no. One of these again. No, they're always rigged, man. How much is it? It's one euro per time. Do you want some soap? No, I was looking at it because. You might need it. When you have a bath in it. Like Look, there's some Mickey Mouse ones. Oh, oh my god, I almost tripped over that stuff. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I got some coins that we might accidentally take home, so we might as well play it, right? Should we try for a minion? Yeah, still a minion then. I want one. Stitch or Yoda. Which one? Which one is I want, that? I want Stitch the blue one. Okay. Or Yoda. Alright, let's do it. I'm gonna do it first. Okay, go on. You can try for baby Yoda actually if you want, if it looks easier. Oh, that ain't coming. Oh, oh please, please, please. Oh. No, I knew. <laughs> Wait, it went down by itself before. No. Oh, that's cheating. Nah. Rez's turn. Right, go for whichever one you want. Oh, you can carry on moving it quite a bit. Oh, precision. Oh, look, it's counting down. Look. It's counting down quickly. Oh my god, you missed it. Rez took too long. It's like counting down. That's so bad. Oh, God. 
Oh, I'm gonna want to. Oh, 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 Maybe we can buy one instead of trying to win one. Alright, so what is this? Oh, you have to try and shoot the balloons while it's moving. Four shots, five euros it says. He's got one more balloon left. Let's see if he gets the purple balloon. Has he run out of bullets? Oh, he's run out of bullets. You gotta get all three balloons for a prize. But they're all numbered, so you probably get like the smaller prizes if you get it. But look how hard that is to actually get. Yeah. How are you meant to hit a flying balloon? Unless you're super skilled. I see the Eiffel Tower. Should we go there? So the Eiffel Tower a lot further than we thought so we did not go there today we went there yesterday we're in this train station that we just found and we've been walking for so long this train station is absolutely huge we've been walking for so long we're literally on a walking escalator and we're walking forever and we've got two trains to take again so after a long tiring day we came back to the hotel to rest and Rez wants to eat some pasta so we are going to a pasta shop a fancy pasta and pizza place yeah and this shop is in a weird location where the train is like a bit weird so I'm gonna take the bus for the first time, so let's yeah, go. That'd be interesting. Yeah, I think we are at the right bus stop. We're going on bus 54, and it says four minutes till the bus. It's really weird because normally the bus would come from like this direction, but instead the bus is gonna get coming from this direction because the roads in Paris are different. It's like you drive on the right side of the road. When I was booking Paris for your birthday, I was thinking if I should take my car or if we should just take the Eurostar. And it's good to take the Eurostar because I don't know how I would drive. <laughs> On these roads, I'd probably get a million tickets or something. It is just so confusing to even look at. And some of the roads are very, very busy. And we bought a pass where you can use it on the train or the bus. So that's quite cool. That was quite an experience. We're off the train now. Yeah, that's the train. Bus. We got on the bus, Mikhail's first ever bus ride in his two years of his life. And we met a French crackhead who could not shut up and he stank of alcohol. Let's see, I think we're going the right way. It says we've already gone past it. I think it's that place. Let me check again. This is the restaurant we're looking for, but for some reason the name says something else. Ristorante. Oh, I think that just means restaurant. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's go in. now back at the hotel and that fancy schmancy food was very nice but it did not satisfy me a hundred percent i'm not 100 percent full we got a hot water bottle with us <laughs> i don't know why from home and then this is the one we bought from the eiffel tower yesterday this guy sold it to us but i think we got ripped off but yeah anyway it is what it is but let's try this food this was five euros fifty i don't know what the currency is like we say we say pennies americans say cents but what do you Oh my god. I asked him can I have some ketchup after he gave it and he said there's already ketchup inside. I did not think this is what he meant. He was just gonna splodge it in by himself. <laughs> so I got a double cheeseburger and chips. Let's taste it. Let's try the fries. Mmm. It is better than the ones we had at the Turkish shop today. Turkish shop ones were cold. These are nice. They're not like McDonald's ones, but they look like it. But they do not taste like McDonald's ones. Let's get some of the cash of a male that he just splodged in there. <laughs> it's nice. I think it's a bit more on the salty side, but it's still good. Let's open this double cheeseburger. Cheese. Yeah, chips. All right. It looks like a McDonald's like fish fillet kind of bun. Oh, there's a gherkin in here. Yeah, burger, baby. All right, so we got a double cheeseburger with a nice amount of cheese, lettuce, which is going everywhere, and then gherkin. And I'm sitting on my sofa bed right now. Right now it is close to midnight, so I'm gonna eat this. We're gonna shower, we're gonna go to bed. Let's try it with Smilla. Mm. I'm a fan of gherkins, but these gherkins gotta get out of here. Let's try it without the gherkin. Much better without the gherkins. Red is trying to chip now. How's it? Mm -hmm. 
They taste French. <laughs> they don't taste like London chips. French fries. Is that where it comes from? So this is our only full day in Paris. Yesterday we got here. It was past like 6 p.m. Tomorrow we are leaving. So this is our full day in Paris. We are so tired. We've had such a long day. I think having a child and carrying the pram. But today we didn't carry the pram. We strapped him to us and it was very heavy. Kay. He was very heavy, isn't it? My left eye keeps twitching and I've heard that that happens because of stress. I think today was a bit very stressful on my body. Yeah, it was very tiring. So we're going to end the video here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the Paris vlogs. But we're leaving tomorrow evening. So we still have a full day of vlogging, of traveling, of seeing things. We're going to get some souvenirs for our family. We've got so many other things to do. So we're going to end the video here, guys. We had such a long day. Tomorrow is another day. So comment down below if you're enjoying these vlogs. If you're enjoying and you watch this far, comment down below a burger emoji. Because I'm eating a burger right now. How did you do? Shrinkled legs everywhere. It just started falling out. <laughs> that fancy schmancy food was good. It it tasted very good. It tastes so good and that's exactly what I kind of wanted, so I'm happy. We always want to go to like an Italian kind of shop that does nice, authentic, creamy kind of pasta. So we're gonna end the video here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you made this far, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as you guys know, at the end of every single video, we give a comment shout out to our favorite comment from the last video. So this video's comment shout out goes out to Rahima.b. Thank you for liking and commenting the last video. If you want a comment shout, leave a nice positive comment down below. I might give you a comment shout in the next video. So comment down below what else you want us to film, what you want to see. Anything you want to say? See you guys next time and peace. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Cause everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind. Try to go to work, but I lost track of time. Cause everyone keep looking like you. I